Good morning, Jocelyn and Jade. Hope you're doing well. We're sorry you're not here in Cleveland with us today as we deliver to Grandma Barbara, Dream Chaser. And we're all proud of Dream Chaser. We'd, it'd be much more fun if you guys were here. And G-Daddy too, but uh, you guys are taking care of him, I'm sure. So uh, we're excited. The design is amazing. We hope your bed is comfortable, girls. And uh, Barbara, do you have anything to say? I just want to say I miss y'all. I wish you all three were here. I did sleep in your, you girls' bed last night, and it was so comfortable. It was great. Little trouble for me to get up that ladder, but if I can do it, y'all can do it. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I just I can't wait to take y'all with us. Hi, Barbara, Gary, welcome to Dream Chaser. Uh, you guys, uh, this is really amazing. I, I can see already the, the uh, comfort that your grandchildren are gonna have as they travel with you. Uh, this bunk bed folds down and is supported here and uh, nice clearance to the ceiling. And then this bed pulls out and becomes a double or queen size pretty much bed. Marsha and I are a little bit jealous because you're going to have your grandkids with you all the time. We've taken them on trips before and they sit in the back uh, strapped in. This has shoulder harnesses that are tied to the structure of the van and uh, big windows so the kids can see out and uh, kind of don't feel claustrophobic or anything. This is kind of their area and that's uh, this is really gonna be cool. And I'm so excited for you guys and your grandkids. So uh, welcome and uh, you're gonna pick up tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you and uh, good luck. Hi, Gary and Barbara. My name is Jonathan Flick. I'm uh, the, one of the engineers here at Advanced RV. And um, this is Dream Chaser. It's a beautiful RV we built for you. Seeing that we have to accommodate four people in this truck, uh, the layout is important and how you access some of the components and where the galley's at and where your sleeping quarters are at um, all has to flow. And with this truck, it's nice because you've got your GE microwave, your Nova Cool up in the front, you've got an open space, and then you've got your galley so you can do your cooking and access your food and you can uh, get into this area pretty easily. Uh, the next feature that's nice is that's very close to the door is your restroom area. And so if you're outside and you're hiking, traveling, and you know, in, in enjoying the outdoors and you need to use the restroom, you can come right in and it's an easy access. It's not far back in the truck. So that's also nice with uh, traveling with uh, groups of people. Bathroom is huge with a split door. Uh, the curtain comes out to here if you want more space, although this is a pretty large shower that I can actually stand up in. You can open the window, which I love. I love outdoor showers and then a uh, a shower with a window where you can look out is pretty cool. Uh, the shower head, um, all the controls are touch screen here. Uh, this is a really nice stainless steel countertop galley. Actually a little bit longer, so it's got a little extra space to it uh, and because this is the extended length truck. Uh, moving back a little bit, we've got um, our pantry storage areas. Uh, you know, our nice usual pull-out stuff, which is generous accommodations for all kinds of uh, products. Um, we've got um, another storage area here. This is really nice. There's shelving, lots of place for storage. You can do hanging clothes up. You guys have done a great job with uh, shelving, removable shelving here. It also can be a hang closet. Uh, lots of storage above. Uh, again, um, adjustable shelves on the bottom for more storage. Tons of storage here. Once you get past that, Mitch, then you come to the magic of the truck, the part that makes the dreams. Uh, so we've got an upper bunk that we designed to accommodate uh, the grandchildren, and then we've got the lower bunk, which accommodates the uh, Gary and Barbara. And um, so what we did on the top was we've used uh, folding mattresses, and so that will unfold into a bed. And then the bottom, we incorporated a sliding base that uh, this allows this uh, the seating area. So this is the travel place and the seating for when the, when you're driving and, and traveling. Uh, and, left and right and then this all this turns into the bed yeah. we tried to make this as lighted weight as possible 
There's honeycomb uh, aluminum material inside these bunks and uh, makes this very rigid surface. You can be assured that uh, any that adults could sleep here if uh, children weren't sleeping here. So There's a ladder that we stow right at the end of the galley and so what I'll do is just uh, unpack this and uh, you only need to pull out a couple rungs and then uh, gives you a nice place to uh, go ahead and crawl up. And I think last time I just So if you're gonna be up here, you know, so Mitch, I'm six foot two and I'm laying down and I'm completely comfortable. I got headroom here, I got room at the back and uh, there's no sag in the bed. It's extremely rigid and tough. So this is, this turned out really well. I, I'm really pleased with this upper bunk area. One of the cool features is that we've got um, his and her controls back here and uh, we can do the lighting controls and then on the other side of this there's outlets for USB for charging for ports and phones and things and there's also a 120 outlet so if you wanted to have your laptop up here watch a movie or whatnot you can uh, you can do that um, we've got rear windows rear screens and privacy there's cubbies for storage all kinds of storage at the top here if you turn around and look right there Mitch we've got the air conditioning ports and so the upper air conditioning is uh, right against the back wall there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Mitch, this is the ladder. These are um, a really unique, very small footprint ladders that we found, but they're really easy to, to uh, collapse. You just hit the buttons and down comes the ladder and then you can Velcro it back up. This is the storage area for the ladder and we've left a little space at the end of the end of the galley and it's got a little holder and then the ladder would just sit right in this section just like that. One thing I wanted to point out to Gary and Barbara is the ability to deploy the lower bed while the upper bed is in place. And so you can do this uh, either way, but because the upper bed is actually deployed, I'm just going to go ahead and deploy the lower bed right now and we'll see how that works. This bed's really cool. It's got one little pull handle and, it, and you just pull the handle and then down comes the bed and pull it forward. And then you can flip that back cushion back and that sits into place and then you've got your lower your lower bed here and so this bed also is made for people that are tall like i say i'm six foot two so i'm uh, pretty comfortable here and um i know barbara has a cpap and we have a cpap shelf here we've got power for that so that she can have her um device while she's sleeping which is important this has uh, his or her lighting on the unders underside for reading. So we've got some access buttons there. Lighting keypad, windows, privacy screen. And at the same time, you've got your uh, cool air screen or your bug screen. And then the window itself can be opened. Let the fresh air in. So I'll go ahead and put the bed back up. And that's just a matter of grabbing these uh, tabs in the back and pull that forward. And you can pull this one forward too, like that. And then pull the uh, knob and the bed locks into place. And it has two, two positions. It has a, a full back position, which is a little bit more um, leg room. And then if you want a more of a reclined position, it goes forward about six inches and gives you more of a relaxed uh, position. This is just a matter of flipping the cushions just like that. So it just flips and slides right back. Having grandchildren, the internet's important. Um, we've got Starlink on this coach and uh, so if you look up in the corner here this is where the Starlink resides. And um, you know the Starlink is made for residential uh, applications and it's kind of big and so we were like where are we going to put this stuff but it seemed to fit really nice there and it was able to be wired into the truck and it allows you access if you need to access that, so which is a really great feature. Gary and Barbara, I know you guys live in a hot climate, and I know that air conditioning was of uh, utmost importance. And so what we've got on this coach is we've got a rooftop Coleman installed, and it's the high-powered Coleman. Then it's ducted into this wall right here. So if you notice, there's a panel, and then there's a duct right here. And so what we have is an insulated ducted section here. And so the cold air is going to come down, and it's going to exit here and if you turn around Mitch we've got another exit port 
right here. So I blow in some cold air into the front of the coach that can be adjusted. These are, these are adjustable and swivelable. And then one of the key features, or most important features, was that we were able to cool the upper bunk and the lower bunk. And so we've got um, ducts on the top, which I talked about, but then on the bottom here, we installed lower ducts. And these, when the bed is deployed all the way forward, just allow enough space to let some cold air blow out and you're gonna get uh, the lower bunk covered. Where are the batteries in this? Does this have any of that? Batteries are under the coach in this truck, but all your utilities are underneath the bed area. So this, this U-shaped um, section here is actually your, or your electronic area. And so if you take a look down here, Mitch, we've got um, cooling fans that are on this side and on the other side. So we draw fresh air, air in on one side and it cools through the electronic components and then blows back out the other side. So that's how we um, provide, provide cooling. One of the important features of this truck, and it's kind of hard to notice it, is this wall right here. And built into this wall is a two inch aluminum frame. And that framework is what holds the seat belts. And so that framework is connected to the bottom of the floor through the truck to the frame and it ties itself uh, to be the seatbelt structure and it also ties itself into these cabinetry. So you've got this, really this safety zone here. Gary and Barbara, this is your galley. Um, this particular coach has uh, filtered water and our water faucet and uh, also a soap pump. Extra big sink here, this is really nice. And we've got the four inch radius on the front, makes it really nice to get it in and out. Um, of course, the stainless steel finish and uh, this turned out really nice. And on this end, we've got six outlets available. And so whatever, you know, you need to do cooking appliances and you want a laptop or you've got some other uh, devices that need plugged in, you've got plenty of power on this end. And then on the other end here, we've got another outlet and then we've got our keypad for lighting. And then we've got a really nice storage door here. And then on the bottom, you can keep some shoes. Well, I tell you, Mitch, this color is fantastic. I love the, the blue color. Um, really looks nice, especially in the sunshine out here. So it's just, uh, every time I see this, I'm like, wow, it's a nice color. Now, uh, we got your standard belly box here in the back. Um, this has got your E&P, your pump, and then we've got a nice big storage area here. So this is really uh, nice for having outdoor storage things and whatnot. Let's come back to this area. So four people, hiking, maybe some uh, dinner activities and then maybe just your casual activities, you're gonna have three pairs of shoes times four people, uh, you know, that's 12 pairs of shoes. So where do you put all these shoes? Um, this is where we put them. Gary and Barbara had a really ingenious idea to use standard shelving that could be adjustable. And so, you know, if you've got anything like this at home, you store shoes on it. So here you go, there's your 12 sets of shoes right here. And then you could just take some small bungees and strap it all down. Um, we've got a place to put a cooler. You've got cooler storage in the bottom. You can do backpack storage here. I know, and, and all these things that I'm talking about uh, were things that were important to Gary and Barbara were backpacks, shoes, and coolers. So you really got this nice storage area back here. Uh, and it's adjustable. So if you don't want to have this and you want to put a raft in here, you know, take this stuff out and reconfigure if you want. We've got um, some 120 power, and then we've got our lighting controls back here. So you can control your outdoor lights and then there's lighting inside of this. Um, yeah, I remember seeing lighting even in here. Yeah, yeah so that, yep, that turns on and off. And like I said, this wall is structure and it's strong. So Gary and Barbara, when you're at, uh, it's time to empty your tanks, uh, this is the section and the side that you'll do it from. So once this door opens, you've got um, your gray and black tank uh, dump valves, and then we've got our macerator. We've got two options. You can put a three inch uh, bayonet connection to dump your tanks or you can use the macerator and then this pull-out tray pulls out and then we've got our hose and then the hose connects to your dump section and it can be operated. So it's a really nice, uh, it keeps everything nice and clean and it's very uh, compacted in, in this section right here and it's all nice and neat. And that's our dump section. I love designing RVs. It's not just me, There's there's Everybody in the building here has helped with this truck. Um, and, and to see it turn out so nice and when I can sit in the beds and, and climb up, and it's, it's just, uh, it's, I hope Gary and Barbara enjoy this truck and their grandkids enjoy this as much as uh, I had fun building it. And like I say, this is a one of a kind, it's very unique. And so uh, I wish you guys the best of luck.